Internationally celebrated comedian and TV star Luis Okola is taking over Johannesburg with a series of shows at the theatre on the square at the Nelson Mandela Square in Senton. The Cape Town-born star will be performing his show, Popular Culture, from the 17th to the 29th of April 2023, before heading to various cities. He joins us now in studio this morning to share more on his comedy tour. Luis, very good morning. Hey, man. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Good stuff, man. Yeah, yeah. She's so tall. Thank you so much. Well, I, 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 I don't know why I'm thanking you for my height. I'm, you had nothing to do with that. <laughs> I absolutely did nothing to believe me. Yeah. I had nothing to do with it. But thank you for having me. Thank you. Yeah, good stuff, man. Yeah. So uh, just tell us more about, uh, you know, popular culture. What's that all about? This, well, the show is just called popular culture, but it's because uh, I needed a name for the show. Mm. But it, I also talk about the idea of popular culture and okay. what culture is and it's all stand-up comedy, but I, I get into some themes. The sure. idea, I think like when we think of popular culture, we think of it like music and movies and that yeah, kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. But it's culture. Like what's the biggest probably culture and tradition? Probably Christianity. What is it that you're focusing on though? I mean, the, well, the popular culture, which is uh, in well, your I mean, view, I th I think, Okay, think, think about it this way. Like if you think of culture, probably the most popular tradition or culture is probably Christianity. Okay. Right? And who was the helm of that? Of course. It was probably, uh, right? Yeah, of course. Yes. And then, uh, would you consider Jesus Christ a pop star? <laughs> a, right? Have you ever thought of that? Okay, I never thought of it, but uh, yeah, you may have a point. He, but... <laughs> he's, he's at the helm of the biggest, one yeah. of the biggest religions, how is, you know, so it's kind of, I'm kind of asking those kind of questions. Sure. But it's not as, you know, it's not as didactic and academic and that kind. It's not Les Mufuke. I'm not investigating anything. Wow. It's about laughs, you know, because wow. that's a book, it's history. It's, you know, me, I'm just, it's jokes. Sure. No? Right? It's jokes, yeah. Now, the show was in London, right? Yeah, yeah. And yeah. next week you're taking over Joburg, eh? Yeah, yeah. How was well, it I'm, in London? I'm doing it in Joburg. I'm not taking over Joburg. Dude, you don't want me, now you're going to get me investigated by the <laughs> Scorpions. No. I'm performing at a theater on the square in Nelson Mandela Square in Santon, and um, I'll be running from the 17th, which is the Monday, to mm. the 29th. Okay. So people can get tickets at, um, at Quicket. Just go to Quicket um, and, and, and book your tickets. Actually, the, the weekends are selling quite well, and just pick, yeah, just buy tickets. Okay. okay. Buy how, tickets. How was the show in London, though? The shows? The show in London, how was it? No, I, I did it like, I did it last year and oh, I it toured it like, I did like 19 cities in London. Yeah. The same show, just, just try, in like about 25 days, I was moving from city to city to city. I watched one of those shows and you said that uh, the British should be, you know, shouldn't be too subtle in their racism. What, yeah, <laughs> what do you yeah, mean I by mean, that? <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, it, I was, it's just an observation of, uh, if, you, if anyone has ever seen the, my Live at the Apollo clip, it's literally, you know, it's, it's, it's me talking about how the racism in Britain is. It's a very different type of racism. They, mm. I mean, I, I don't know. I They're think, not too upfront about it. No, it's not. It's not too upfront. Which is, which is, <laughs> which is. I, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. I don't. I, I, I personally don't know how to deal with. I just wish. Jeez, man. I, I just wish racists can be specific. You know, because they yeah, they yeah. treat black people as one thing. Then you're like, no, 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 no. Yeah. Who do you hate? Like you. Right, you find right. out if the guy said. You'd be like, I hate vendors. You'll be like, yeah, I hate them too. And then right. we can high five each other. But I'm just saying, like, if I, I, like so I have, I have all these takes about racism and how mm, things can go. Mm, yeah. mm. And speaking of such, I mean, uh, how are the comedy scenes? I mean, how's the comedy scene in London compared to the scene here in South Africa? Yeah, I mean, London is a. You can do like. Because I know South Africans are so there's humorous. Like, there's like a hundred gigs a night in London yeah. every day. So it's a totally different thing. Here, you're lucky if you get five. Mm, Five kids. Mm. It's a different culture of stand-up comedy. They've had it for yeah, sure. at least 50, 60 years. Yeah. So Bona, they, you know, it's like, yeah, it's great. They have t tons of comedy clubs. And mm. you can, I do sometimes eight gigs a night. It's like yeah, yeah. Yeah, that kind of thing. So you've written for quite a number of comedians, eh? I'm not, not really, no. You, you haven't? No, 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 no. I've had people write for me sometimes. Oh, okay. But I, I, I haven't, like, um, written for anyone. I've written things. Sure. If someone says, oh, we've got this movie, can you make it a thing? Or I've written, like, the latest thing I wrote in was the comedy roast for Comedy Central. Oh, right, right. That, I mean, I write all over the time. If my friends are involved in something and they ask me, I'll, I'll get involved. But I, I haven't yeah, written for yeah. one person in okay. a long time. Yeah. So how do you go about preparing for, uh, you know, a set? Uh, 
do you just think of anything abruptly that comes to your mind or is it triggered by a certain event? Um, a series of events. Well, I, I, for me, the way I do it, I pick a theme and my theme uh, for the sh this particular show is popular culture. Yes. Like, by popular, like, if you think of, like, witchcraft, like, now people are open with witchcraft yeah. on, on, on social media. Yeah. And yeah. when I was growing up, that wasn't a, culturally, that wasn't a thing. Like, witchcraft was such a, you know what I mean? It was taboo, yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. like, but now people like will be like, off in hush tones. yeah, people will come on social media and be like, lawyer, and then, and you're like, yo, that's, <laughs> so, so culturally, there's been a shift. Uh -huh. Right, so those are the things I talk about. Like, I grew up this way, and there's been a shift of how things are uh -huh. now. Mm -hmm. um, so the way I prepare it, I kind of, like, observe the world gradually and then put it together. It takes me about a year and a half mm. to put together a cohesive show, yeah. Okay, so do you, do you prepare for a particular audience or just about anyone who could I, consume I, I, your I craft? Try to, I try to not zoom in to any audience. I try to treat human beings like human beings. Yeah, so I've yeah. taken this show, like... Um, to Copenhagen, and I mm -hmm. didn't change it. I, the way I perform it in Copenhagen is probably the same, it's very marginally the same okay. as as the way I perform it in Joburg or Plumfondein uh -huh. or Venda or Deveni yeah. or Mbumalanga or et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> and stuff like that. <laughs> and, and things of that nature. <laughs> and then do you shy away from certain topics? No, I try not to shy Politics, away. Politics, perhaps? If I, no, I find, I, I mean, I had a whole political show, bro. There's no way that I'm shying oh, yeah. away from politics. I, yeah. I, I, I dive into all, all, that, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I, I don't think there's a subject. If I find something funny, I'll make fun. Of I, I will, I will, I will dive into that here. Yeah. And I've heard some comedians uh, being, you know, subjected to vitriolic attacks uh, by some of their targets. Uh, are you? Uh, have you also been subjected to such? No, Is no. It? Like for me, like if I, like uh, if you ever uh, assault me on stage, like I'm not Chris Rock. <laughs> no, I, I, I try like not to taunt people. I think I try to read it enough for people not to feel too antagonized. You know? mm. I try to, you know, gauge. Um, I try, also, I try not to talk to the audience much. I is don't, it? no, I don't like, like, I don't know, like, now this is a stranger. Mean? I talk to them, I don't talk with, like, you're not part of the show, you're here to watch. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> it's like now I'm there, when footballers now are now passing the ball to the, to the, or, no, leave that alone. <laughs> Got pass, you. Got you. Leave those people alone. Most of the, most of the time, people want to be left alone. It's just that mm. there's so many comedians who talk to them. Like, if you ask an audience member, do you want someone to speak to you about, they don't want that. So I generally try okay. to... If it happens that someone is seeking attention, I can address it, but I generally don't like yeah, speaking yeah. to them. Because also, they can throw you off. They could right, say something that's right. crazy, and I'm like, oh. The thing that I'm going to say is probably way funnier than anything they're going to say anyway. Right, because you're the comedian and not them. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> so let's not take chances. Let's not take chances. <laughs> let's, let's, you know, let's... Great let's chatting play, to you, man. So, to just give us details again about uh, these shows. So, I'm at uh, Theatre on the Square, which is on Nelson Mandela Square in Stanton. Mm -hmm. And we run from the 17th of April to the 29th. And okay. tickets are at Quicket. Go to Quicket, type my name, get yourself a ticket. All right. On Quicket. Did you I say Quicket? You did. I did say Quicket. You can say it again. Hey, go get tickets for my show <laughs> at Quicket. It rhymes as well. Ticket, Quicket, kick it. Right. And let's kick it. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, all the Thank best. Thank you so much. Good stuff. Well, Louisa Gole is one of South Africa's jams and comedic uh, royalty. He burst into the scene in the early 2000s and has since toured the world. He just spoke to us about his upcoming show, uh, Popular Culture, from the 17th to the 29th of April.